Yo, what's good, you too? This is Jay from TNJ, and we're here for the second straight Pac-12 title game in a row playing up against Stanford. And let's just rewind back to season four as we took on Stanford last year, and they gave us a heavy dose of the run game to Justice Woods, but they just could not keep up with this offense. Denzel Knox went crazy in this one as he got in towards the end of the first half, and then Rahi Makusi gets going in the second half as Drayvon Jennings was also on this game, and he handed off to Denzel Knox, finishing that drive off, and their offense just could not compete with ours in the second half, and Justice Woods was bottled up, and we went on to win this game 38-14, to and here we are here in Season 5 looking to go back to back here in the conference championship. So going into conference championship week, we do need a couple of guys to lose. Florida, Clemson, and Texas. Texas is pretty much locked in. They don't have a conference championship, but also we do need Iowa to lose as well. And we'll see what happens there. But looking at Stanford, they are a decent team. They have the number one total defense. And that is going to be a problem because, you know, we do struggle versus elite defenses. We're struggling to put points on the board. But we'll see how this one goes. So here we go. We are underway here in the Pac-12 title game. And Champagne Green is back to defend this one as he gets an open lane to the outside. And he's going to get tackled at about the 47. What a great return to start it out here as we are ranked number five in the nation. And Stanford comes in at number eight. So first play from Shotgun. Here is Drayvon Jennings this time. He's going to take it himself. He's scrambling and sliding towards the 40-yard line. As you can see, his numbers aren't really that great. He's just, you know, been a pretty good quarterback, I would say. Here he is. He has a clean pocket. He's going to unload and throw this one deep, and it's severely underthrown and almost picked off. And that's almost a pick uh, interception by Miguel Cunningham. So third and 12, here's a throw across the middle, but that one is way off the mark. Interception by Wright, that one was supposed to be to Jay Taylor, and Taylor was wide open across the middle. It's just a clear overthrow, and Jennings makes a mistake, and like I said, this is how he plays versus elite dip defenses. I don't know what it is, but it seems like he's just not accurate when he plays these good defenses. So here is Justice Woods back onto, out onto the field. He's had a couple of great games playing versus running the ball, but the thing is, we've been able to bottle him up in the second half. And if he gets worn down in the first half, we'll be able to do it this time again. So we do force the punt there on the three and out. And here's Jennings back onto the field. Quick throw to the right side. He's got Matt Pollard, the senior tight end. And he picks up a gain of 12. And that one is going to move the chains. So first and 10. Here's a handoff up the middle. Denzel Knox. He's bullying his way for nine yards. Nice blocking by the offensive line on that play. So second and one from the shotgun. Quick throw out to the left, and it's almost picked off, but Raheem Akusi comes up with it. Wow, we got lucky on that one. That's a gain of 11 as we move past the 50-yard line. So handoff up the middle. This time Denzel Knox bounces it outside, and he gets a gain of nine as we move the ball closer into field goal range. So now at about the 30-yard line, we do eventually pick up that first down, but running the jet sweep, we get stopped in the backfield. That's Raheem Akusi losing five. And that brings us to a third and 15. Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's going to try to throw this one deep. And it's almost picked off once again by Kyle Wright. As here we go. We're in a situation where we had to attempt a long field goal. But Dodge just does not have the leg. And that one comes up short. And Stanford takes back over. No points on the board yet halfway through the first quarter. But here is Justice Woods. He's getting going, and that's what I'm talking about. He's just a rugged runner. He is very hard to take down, and that is another first down. So second and nine, deep shot. He's got Foster Jack West. What a great throw and catch as he lays that one up perfectly in only a position where his guy can get it, and Josh Hemphill cannot come up with the deflection. So now they're inside the five. Here's a handoff to the right side, Justice Woods. He's gonna force his way into the end zone for the five yard touchdown run. And Stanford takes the 7-0 lead here in the conference championship. So now back out on the next drive. Here is some pressure coming off the edge. 
And we have to get rid of that throw. Drayvon Jennings, two for nine to start this game. Not the ideal start you're looking for from your star quarterback. So on a third and 10, we throw across the middle, but that's only a gain of six. So now we have to punt the ball away to Stanford. So now with this 7-0 lead, they're gonna try to run the ball once again and almost break it to the outside as Justice Woods, but we do get the shoestring tackle on that one. So a third and seven, Jack West. He's got a clean pocket. He's gonna get rid of it, but he's gonna throw it out of bounds as maybe he was seeing ghosts on that one and we forced the punt once again. So now still in this 7-0 hole. Here's a throw across the middle. Here's Raheem Akusi. He's getting close to the 50-yard line. Sometimes those easy throws are what you need to get Drayvon Jennings going as he's not the most accurate quarterback, but he's got a pretty good arm. So here's Denzel Knox on the draw play, picking up seven on that, followed up by a third and three try. Throw across the middle. That's Matt Pollard, the senior tight end, formerly known as a receiver, and he picks up a gain of 13 or 11, and he gets the first down. On the next play, first and 10. Here's a deep shot. We got Champagne Green who beats his man in the slot. Take another look, just beats him off of the line. And that guy had no chance. I think that's their safety guarding Champagne. So here on a second and goal, here is Denzel Knox moving his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And we tie this game up at seven apiece. So this is looking like a pretty good defensive game so far. Here's Justice Woods on the next carry. He's getting a big gain this time of 24. He gets run down from behind. He doesn't have elite speed. I believe his speed is at 84. So he's not that elite runner as far as speed goes, but he definitely can break a lot of tackles. He's got great vision as he picks up another gain of 12. So here is Jack West this time under center, full back behind him, giving it off to Justice Woods. But this time we are there for the stop. That's three guys led by Andrew Jordan and James Will Smith there for the tackle. So third and seven. Can we get some pressure? Here is Jack West. Gotcha, He's under duress and he goes down. That's Terrence Miller, first met by Andre Armstead, and we force the punt. So that one knocked him out of field goal range. So now we get the ball back. And on the first play, we try to run a play action and take another look. That's intentional grounding. We didn't get out of the pocket. Didn't want to get sacked. Instead, we lose a ton of yards. So third and 28, facing some pressure off the edge and we get hit. And Drayvon Jennings is down. He might be shaken up on that play as we have to punt the ball back and forth. This game goes on defense. So here is Jack West on the next drive. He takes a huge hit. And wow, Michael Cummings just lays the boom on Jack West. But Jack West showing his toughness. He gets up. So third and 12, here to throw out to his receiver, Tim Turner. And that's only a gain of five and another punt. This defensive game is turning out to be a good one here in the first half. So here, here's Jennings on the next drive. And look at this. Their defensive line is just tearing it up. I mean, we cannot do anything on offense, and we just decide to let this clock run and go into halftime 7-7. So here we come back out on defense to start the second half. Jack West from the shotgun. He's gonna hand it off to Justice Woods right away. He's gonna get hit, and that's a fumble and picked up by Andre Armstead. What a hit by Haloli Minaga. Take a look. He just comes in untouched and I don't think Justice Woods even saw him just gets hit right in the hole and he coughs that one up and we take back over with great field position so here's Denzel Knox on the counter play to the left side he gets a gain of eight and that makes it a second and two at about the ten, ten. here's a handoff up the middle from the pistol and Denzel Knox moving the ball forward for a first down inside the 10 yard line so now we move it to a third and goal. Here's Kasiri Robinson getting the handoff up the middle, and he doesn't get much clock, and he loses a, get, a yard of one. And here we go, fourth and goal. Denzel Knox back in the game, and he somehow fights his way in. Two yards out, take another look at this. I don't know how he got in on this one. I thought he was stopped, 52 stops him, but somehow he gets that ball across the goal line, and that's a touchdown. 14-7 here in the third quarter. So now here is Stanford back out on offense. They love to run this rock. Jack West hasn't had the need to throw the ball too much as now he has to here on a third and five. West from the middle of the pocket. He's gonna scramble a little bit and he's gonna find the receiver, CJ Foster, 15 yards wide open over the middle. 
and that's enough for a first down. So Jack West, play action fake. He's gonna throw this one deep, and that one is overthrown his receiver on the outside. He may have thrown that one away. He may have felt some pressure as they, that moves it to a fourth and seven, and they do kick the field goal, and they make it a 14 to 10 game here in the third quarter. So now as this third quarter does wind down, a minute left here in the quarter. Here's Denzel Knox getting out to the outside on a screen pass. We don't run many of them, but that's the reason why. But take another look at our right guard Simmons. He pretty much pancakes the guy, then gets in another guy's way. That's the type of blocking we need to win these games. So now we move on to the fourth quarter. Here's a screen pass to the left, but no, it's gonna be a wheel route up the field, but Denzel, or actually Jenny's gonna dump this one off to Sammy Baldwin who picks up 14 yards. And Sammy Baldwin's been actually pretty quiet in this one. So now on a first and 10 here in the fourth quarter, here's a throw out to the right side. That's Matt Pollard. He's picking up a gain of 11 and moving the sticks. And now we're inside of the 15 yard line. So now a second and five handoff up the middle. Jay Taylor makes a quick cut and he's in for the touchdown. Seven yards out and Jay Taylor, here he is on the biggest stage making plays just like last year and now we have the 21 to 10 lead so now here they have the ball next and down 11 here is justice woods but you can just see i think they're starting to get worn down as this defense collapses on him quickly and brings it to a third and six here's jack west trying to scramble out and he's going to try to make it to the outside but he gets tackled from behind what a tackle, Michael Cummings, 10 tackles in this game, three tackles for loss and a sack, and that is a MVP type of game. So we do force the punt here with four minutes left here in the fourth quarter, but this defense, they trust it, and they should because we haven't been able to do much on the offensive side of the ball. So third and nine, here's some more pressure. We throw across the middle, and that one is gonna be picked off by Williamson who somehow makes a great play. Look at this, he comes off of the Carl Wolf route on the outside and breaks towards Sammy Baldwin and makes the perfect football play on that one. And he comes up with the turnover. So now they're on the other side of the 50. Jack West from the shotgun, he's gonna try to scramble out, but he gets smacked by Terrence Miller. In his second sack of the game, take a look, he just runs into him and Jack West just gets clobbered. So now a third and 16, Jack West. Here he is from the shotgun once again. He's gonna throw to the sideline. He's got a man, Cody, but that's four yards short of the first down marker, fourth and four. The same situation as last year. They throw it across the middle, but it's gonna be caught by Kellen Russell. And that's a first down as they do give it to him. And this drive does continue. So here is Stanford, two and a half minutes left. They're gonna dump it back off to Russell, who does pick up a nice gain of 14. And now they're inside the 15 yard line. Russell runs in motion, first and 10. We're sending some pressure. He gets off of the sack and he's gonna get rid of it. And he's gonna find Cody on the left side. Take a look. Jack West makes a clutch play, avoids the sack from the All-American and gets rid of it to his best receiver, Cody. And now they are lined up to go for two to make it a three point game, West. With the pocket, he's gonna move out to the right side and find his receiver, J.R. Davis. I don't know how he found him that time in that small hole, but he did, and now this lead is down to just three points. So now we do need a couple of first downs here. We run the ball up the middle with Denzel Knox, picking up a gain of four. So now a second and six, Jay Taylor. He's getting swallowed up there, and now it's a third and five. They use their second timeout. So third and five now, here's a carry, Denzel Knox. He picks up another big gain, he droops to the outside, breaks the tackle, and breaks another one. He's at the 45, that's a gain of 20 yards as wow, that one is going to seal this game up. And wow, what a close defensive game as we take the second straight Pac-12 title here in this dynasty. We have yet to lose in the Pac-12. We lost one game in the Pac-12, actually. And wow, what a game. I mean, both defenses showed up. Number eight versus number five. I couldn't ask for a better conference championship than that one. It was hard to do anything, especially with Drayvon Jennings. He was rattled as versus these top defenses, like I said. He just struggles to make accurate throws. So we do come up with the victory. We have to see how the rest of the NCAA does 
in the conference championship week as we do sim to bowl season to see our results here coming up. Let's just see. So we do end up in the Rose Bowl again for the second straight season going up against Iowa. Unbelievable as they actually finished undefeated in conference 10 and 0 and we already beat them this year already once and Florida ended up destroying LSU in the championship in the SEC championship 45 to 13. That is just amazing. And then Texas didn't even have a conference championship. So we probably wouldn't have made it in either way. Even though we did beat Iowa, I feel like we should be ranked ahead of them. But I guess we have to show the committee once again why we are better than the Iowa again. So we're playing them for the third time in the span of a year. We played them last in the Rose Bowl. We played them earlier this year. And then we play them again. But good news, Denzel Knox comes home with the Heisman Trophy as he beats out Cameron Rising, who is in the national championship. We'll see how he does. But we'll play in the Rose Bowl once again. Hit subscribe, hit that like button. Let's clobber Iowa this time. Last year we had some trouble with them going into overtime, but we eventually came up with a victory. But let's not make this one close. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.